Hey guys, you know that I love fresh flowers. I love the way they make me feel when I walk into a room. I always have plants and flowers in as many rooms as I can in my house. I love bringing nature into my home. Um, it just always makes me feel better. This video is just a really quick, basic flower arrangement that you can put in your house. Um, you guys have asked me to show you how I do an arrangement, so that's what this video is. So it obviously depends on the types of flowers that you have. I happen to have a bunch of white roses right here, which I'm gonna show you how I make a very simple arrangement. This is, I mean, recently I've been really into my tall vases and having flowers kind of sprouting out the top. So the way that you wanna pick a vase is when you look at the flowers, it'd be a shame you know, to cut the stems super short and put them in such a small vase like this. So when I look at how beautiful and tall these are, I go for one of my other vases. This is actually from a flower arrangement that um, Natasha Leone gave me. So I kept the vase and I love this thing. I use it all the time. And this is another vase that my husband actually got me. So these are my two favorite tall ones. So I think for these flowers, because there's so many, um, let's start with this vase because it's a little bit wider and you could fit more flowers in there so they won't be smushed. The tools that I use when I do my flower arrangements is, this is just a very simple, you can buy this online. You can also just cut off all the individual leaves, but this is cool because you can put it on the stem and you just kind of squeeze down like that. And it basically just kind of like gets all the leaves off and any big thorns, which is really nice. So again, you just kind of get a grip on there. And a lot of the leaves I, I personally like taking off so that I can have more control. Some of them I leave on, but I like taking off, especially the lower ones, so that I have more control about where I put them, you know, in the vase. See that? So that's just kind of easy. I think this little uh, sheer was like $10 or something online. But when you're dealing with roses especially, those thorns can be like pretty painful. <laughs> you know, if you get caught in your finger, it's not the most pleasant. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up all these leaves and then we'll go to the next part. So even when you're throwing away, you know, the leaves or doing whatever you're gonna do with them, compost or whatever, um, there's thorns in there. So be careful because I just pricked myself on one. So be careful about that. So now I'm gonna put some water in here. I usually fill the vase about three quarters of the way up with water because once all the flowers are in there, the water level's obviously gonna rise and you don't want water spilling over the top. So this is another thing that I that is a cool investment if you're gonna make flower arrangements. It's this really nice uh, flower shears like this, like garden shears. It makes everything so much easier. I used to use just a pair of scissors, but some of those stems, they're really hard to cut through, especially if you're doing sunflowers, those are really thick. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of eyeball, you know, how much I wanna take off of the bottom. So this is actually a really good size vase for this flower. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit on the bottom. I usually just do an inch at an angle. And then I just kind of eyeball it from there. See, this is an arrangement I made. Love sunflowers. They were all at the farmer's market and I got a bunch of them and I just packed them in this vase. These sometimes I'll make the middle ones a little bit taller. So then the ones on the outside can kind of like fill in the side here. Okay, great. So let's finish with our beautiful white roses here. If there's any kind of like floppy petals like that, just pop it off. Whoa, that is way not <laughs> happening. So we got to cut that down. There we go. Oh, that's weird. A lot of these are different size. And you just kind of eyeball like this one. And if you cut it a little bit shorter by accident, because that will happen, stick it on the outside. Because on the outside, you know, much like with the sunflowers, any that are taller, put the taller ones toward the middle so that it's a little like dome, you know? Cut that one too short. That's going on the outside. I love flowers. They're so 
beautiful. They brighten any room. They just really do. And my family loves flowers. And anytime you're hosting for friends, just grab like wherever you're getting your uh, your groceries from, the cook or whatever, just grab flowers. Trust me, it'll make such a difference. It just changes the vibe so much and it really just brightens up the room. So there's another little petal I'm gonna pop off because he is a little wayward. Another little short one. But see, and you just kind of start filling it up in a nice, even plane. And then when the vase starts getting full, then just kind of look around for gaps. Like, you know, right here, there's there's actually like a big gap right there. I mean, it moved since I picked it up, but you want to just naturally look at it and see where the gaps are. And then when you get to like your last five or six flowers, just start filling those gaps. Okay, so there's a gap here, so then you just want to start filling those. Wow, this is going to be really beautiful. And then these two, you know, these roses are going to open up too, you know, so it's going to get even more full, more beautiful. Actually, there's a gap here. I'm going to stuff that right there. And, you know, flowers, they're, you have to be delicate with them, but if they're this kind of tight, you can kind of grip them. So you can actually get a grip on the bulb here and just kind of gently stuff it in like that. You know, if it's this kind of rose where it hasn't fully bloomed yet, you can really kind of get a little grip on there and push it in there. So let's see, so there's a gap right here, so I'm gonna grab a little bulb. It's gonna gently place it in. Great. So then here is a perfect example. See, some of these are a little shorter, you can also pick them up a little bit to make it like a nice, you know, like a nice kind of even dome. If there's some, they're a little taller, like these actually look a little tall. So I'm going to cut them down a little bit because they're on the outside. Just a little bit. Maybe that was three quarters of an inch. And this one, because you want the ones on the outside to be a little bit shorter. So you have that nice kind of dome effect. Okay. And then this is an example of just a very pretty flower arrangement that I'm gonna put on the table. So I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I put up a new video. And let me know in the questions and comments what you think. This video was a request from you guys and it was awesome. I love doing this. So let me know what else you wanna see. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.